Hello everyone and welcome back to Cities XL and welcome back to Waterfront City. Yes, so the first episode after my vacation and yeah, there was a little live stream uh, in the meantime, right after my vacation, where I, yeah, tried to <laughs> find back into the game and tried to remember the things I've done in the last episode and the things I wanted to do. So uh, the live stream was a bit, yeah, chaotic. And I had a bunch of uh, technical issues as well. So it, it's it's not one of my best live streams. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if you have missed it, please go to twitch.tv Araga City. Uh, there will be a link in the video description below to my Twitch profile to my Twitch page, so there you can watch the last live stream about Waterfront City. So, yeah, and over this or during this live stream, I finished this year the elevated freeway part and the intersection interchange things here, and I started to build uh, the road layout for. The industry zone here i just yeah basically i just tried around a bit and yeah i figured out how much space i will i will have here and uh how or where should i add additional interchange with the freeway and all these things and yeah so that's the current state in the meantime I did a little sketch, a basic sketch about my design I have in mind for this area here. And I recently tweeted this sketch, so if you have missed this as well, go to Twitter. There's also a link to my Twitter profile in the video description below. So there you will find my sketch. Probably I can link the sketch directly as well in the video description yeah uh, however i'm going to do sorry i'm going to continue here today and today i'd like to add the first industry buildings to this city yes so the first new buildings here for this city after i don't know dozens of episodes i did a lot of infrastructure work over the last few episodes but it was important important because I need all need yeah now I need all these freeways and all this stuff here for these new circles or these connections road connection and that stuff so yeah first industry buildings let me think for a second I should start yeah at first let's start with another road yeah, I know what you're thinking. What you're thinking now? Oh God, he's he builds another road now. Uh, but this will be pretty quick. I'd like to add another circularized road. It will be the central roundabout for this industry zone. And uh, for this road I need a large avenue because usually in the center of a circle or the, the circular road in the center is the road with the most traffic usually so this is the most important road need a lot of capacity so I will work with the uh, large avenue as one-way road Ooh, sorry so with the good old known technique, I will now add the avenue parts before I will connect them with curved roads. And yeah, I'd like to do this because for the layout idea, I need to expand the small freeways a bit first. I'm talking about these ones. And 
then I can add some industry buildings. And basically, this ep episode I will try around again a bit if the layout will work I had in mind. So maybe I will adjust things later a bit. But yeah, at first let's let's try to add the first buildings and let's see how it will look in the end. All right, that's it. Now let's remove these inner lots and buildings. All right, there we go. Now I need to connect the these large avenue parts with a curved road, something like that. Yeah, later I will adjust things here. I will turn this into a one-way road, so in a roundabout. But for the moment it's not necessary, so I will leave it like it is now. So, let's expand the road. Wait a second, I I'd like to take a look at my sketch. Um, yeah, I'd like to expand this one. It's probably not a good idea, <laughs> this thing I'd like to do now, because, uh, let's remove this, because what I want to do now is I'd like to expand just one freeway, one lane, and I'd like to do this because uh, actually it's, it's just a design decision for the moment. Uh, I want to keep, uh, give it a try, so. This will be just one way. Probably this will cause some traffic issues and I will change this later. But yeah, like I said, it's... Ah, damn it. Let's remove this part here as well because I'd like to connect this freeway over here. Let's start with this direction first. Well, this is interesting. I thought I could just easily expand this freeway here now. Or do we need to take the bridge or the elevated? Will this work? Yeah, this seems to snap to the right point. Uh, now the shoulders on not on the right side, so the traffic flow will be this way. That's of course not that thing we need, so I just wanted to know where the intersection will be with the central roundabout, so I can do this now. Uh, and now I could probably simply put the connection like this. Yes, and it's a straight, a straight freeway now. All right, so that's it. Um, also, over here, I'm, I'm not sure if I will expand this avenue here later. Uh, this is another thing, another design decision. I think this is an important one, so probably I will change this this intersection layout here a bit later. But like I said, it's, it's a bit... I will try around a bit now. So... Yes, yeah, this is what I usually like to do, uh, try to figure out designs. Um, so, and often the first solution is, is not always the best one. All right, this is straight. So let's rebuild this from here so that the traffic flows in the right direction. Yeah, I always like to to stay or to use or to expand, sorry, <laughs> the left freeway. And my first idea was that this avenue should be a roundabout as well and should stop over here. And this is what I mean. There, there are additional road connections nece necessary. So this is something I have to think about. Maybe I will build another avenue from 
in this direction or so. This is probably a good idea. All right, later more about this. And over here, I'd like to put the roundabout, this one, not over here, because I, I cannot put a roundabout on the water. I'd like to put this over here inside of the circle. I think this is interesting. So we have a roundabout here and there outside of the circle and one inside of the circle. And, we'll, and it will be directly connected to a bridge. And this bridge will go over the fjord right into the mountains and from the mountains into a tunnel and then to the edge of the map. Something similar to this one over here. And I'm not sure what type of bridge I will use there. Probably another suspension bridge like this one. I think not the same, not the same. I think this will be boring. So yeah, this is something I still need to figure out. I still need another bridge mod with a cool looking bridge. Some more about this later. These are my plans. So you can see all this in the sketch on Twitter. Um, we can probably just remove this now. Um, let's keep this road like it is over here. Probably it will end right at the roundabout later. I am not sure about this. So we have this and that. I think we can remove this one. And probably we should expand this avenue. A bit. Um, so where do we need to add the road? I think over here. Something like this. So let's remove this and let's add the avenue. I think I used the large one here as well. Yeah, basically I'd like to have different, a bit of different layouts. So this quarter here of the circle will be a, a look a bit different than the rest. So yeah, because it's, it's an organic city. So I think things should be not too symmetric, especially not in the side of the large circles. I think it will look more interesting, especially also for the industry zone, because this is a different thing than the commercial and residential zones. Yeah, let's expand this. Okay. And from here we can now, oh, I think I need the bridge too because otherwise it would create a not so nice intersection. And this is something we don't want or the elevated thing. Yes, so no intersection over there can remove this. Oh, this is not so nice. Uh, maybe this will be fixed when I remove this. No, actually not. Interesting. Why this giant Ah, all right. There's still there's there must be something wrong. Or did I not use the right road type over here? There's something, uh, definitely something wrong with the, with the avenue. Let's see. Can we, hmm. I think it, let's, let's try to figure out what type of avenue I used here because there is something wrong. Was it this one? But I think I used this one here. Yes, I used, <laughs> damn it. I used two different types of avenues. That's basically the problem. So this one will, no, wait a second. Huh? Now I'm confused. Ah, damn it. Let's just remove this and let's rebuild this. Oh, we need a, a short straight part first because uh, otherwise there will be no curve in the end. Really? D 
there's something I think I still confused the right types I need this one okay so let's build a short straight part and then let's put the curve okay no I got it I got it so this is that and let's expand this here as well and let's remove parts of the dirt road uh, yeah so let's expand this all right S -s 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 -s. there we go okay so uh, that's basically the layout over here with all the interchanges and now I'd like to fill this with industry buildings and I need some small roads inside of this. Uh, basically, what I want to do is I want to do something, a road, low, a road layout like over here, because this will be similar in every circle. This not nice organic road layout inside, but here with a bit more space between all these buildings. Uh, but let's start with heavy industry buildings first. High density. Let's try to figure out how much space all this need, needs. So, what is this, by the way? Is this the freight capacity? Probably. That's interesting. We do not have so many different heavy industry buildings here. Oh, this is unfortunate. Not enough space. Ah, oh, just, yeah, slightly enough space for three heavy industry buildings in one row. And, oh yeah, this looks massive. Giant industry buildings, giant industry complex. And, uh, and I also like to add um, some buildings for power production and for waste. Usually I use support a supporting city for this, but here in Waterfront City, I'd like to build also this stuff, uh, also this dirty stuff inside of the city because I I I'd like to try to build a nice and cool looking city that also, yeah, with heavy industry. Usually I, I prefer to build just high-tech industry cities because it's clean, it's easy, it looks nice, looks futuristic, but why not trying to do something different this time? This is a, a interesting thing, I think. So yeah, road layout. Let's have another look. I think basically my first idea was to, to add a road like this over here that goes this way. And another one that is parallel to these guys with a little triangle plaza over here. Yeah, I think that's pretty much how it looks like in my sketch. So it's not perfectly parallel to this one, but this is not ne necessary, I think. So let's see, heavy industry, high density. Shh, shh, shh. Yeah, there's not enough space, but this is not a big problem because I think what we could do here, we could put some medium density heavy industry here instead so that there is a nice variety in density and building types because as, as you have seen there were, was not really much different types of uh, high density industry buildings for heavy industry. So 
I think it's better for, for the diversity. Let's have a look at the job situation. Now we have a bunch of available jobs here for skilled workers and unskilled workers. Things are not very balanced here in the city at the moment. And I think this will take some time. So let's start over here. So maybe, oh, oh, these tanks are nice. Maybe we could just build a row of tanks over here. This is cool. And another thing we could try. What is this? Ooh. Usually I do not use these heavy industry buildings that much. So also for me, this stuff is pretty new. Hmm. Okay, let's stay with this for for a moment. Uh, probably, yeah, let's have a look at the token situation because, yes, yeah, you can see we need a few, we need waste and a lot of water is, is needed at the moment because of all the heavy industry. Can we produce water in this city here? I have no idea. But do we need to import water? Oh, we have groundwater here available. That's interesting. This is something I haven't done since a while. Because usually I import a lot of stuff. But, but why not? So why not? Use our own water. Uh, let's simply put this over here at the moment. We can adjust this later. I will move this water tower a bit. So, what's the water situation right now? I think it will take a moment. So, waste. Waste is another problem, especially at the beginning. Uh. I think we can just build the here the garbage dumps, right? Uh, and small, yeah. These things are locked. We could use mods, or I think uh, there was also an option to unlock everything. Let's have a look. Um, We do do do. Hmm. I cannot remember exactly. I activated the expert mode because then most, so uh, all roads and every density types and all this is is unlocked. This makes sense. But I think I think there was. Oh. Oh oh! What happened? All right, I'm back. Sorry, there was a little game crash for some reason I don't know in the meantime I rebuilt everything because I lost a bit of progress because of the game crash but so uh, for example I, I rebuilt this road here and now parallel to the industry buildings over here because finally I come to the conclusion it looks a bit better so yeah now all this these things are back also the tanks over here and I think it's a good idea to build uh, a small power plant over here because we need them anyway we need four of these power plants to unlock the larger ones so let's start with the power plant over here we'd like to produce our own power here in the city anyway and yeah what was I talking about before the game crash ah yes unlock things uh, I think there, there, there is a mod that unlocks everything, also all the, these types of schools, for example, all these things as well. And I think I will not use this because I'd like to unlock everything yeah, by playing the game. Because and this is a nice challenge and usually not so hard. So let's do it this way. So don't... it's not waste any time with these unlocking things oh, and yeah the water tower is still there and I think another mistake I did let's have a look inside of the resource panel yes I 
took a look at the wrong column. R column, right? Ah, oh, this is a row, this is a column, right? Okay, so yeah, these are the things I need, the tokens, but uh, I import already everything I need, so not there's not really something I need at the moment, probably a bit of fuel. There's not a negative number at the moment, but this bar here is red, so we could import a bit of fuel. Or could we produce our own fuel here in the city? Oh, yes, we can. Oh, there's a lot, a lot of oil. Jesus. This is interesting. Maybe we can use this later, especially over here, because this is inside of the industry zone. So while, yeah. I think we should pump our own, put some oil pumps here. Why not? But not for the moment. Let's let's impart some some fuel. Let's go to Omnicarb fuel. Yes. Let's impart some more. So our electricity plant or power plant will need this anyway if i remember right all right so these things are now ba bankrupt or they lose money because yeah we do not have enough workers but the sim also something i'd like to solve later um let's think about waste this is also another interesting thing um Waste, waste. Utility, sorry, I was blue. <laughs> um, waste. I could put some or add some garbage dumps here. This is something that could be interesting. Probably smaller ones. Let's add some additional industry build. Things probably a bit of manufacturing. Also uh, medium density. Yeah, I know we do not have enough jobs for the moment, but this is something I can care about later. Let's, for example, let's build a row of these halls. Something like that, and probably a, a taller building at the end. Or should we leave it this way? Yeah, probably we can simply leave it this way. So, and let's add another of the first garbage dump somewhere over here. Uh, what was it? Utilities. Can we build this over here? The area is, the zone is too small. Maybe if we expand this here a bit. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This is slightly la large enough. Just slightly. This is interesting. All right, so we have a little garbage dump now, so we can get rid of our own waste here in the city. Uh, and let's decorate this area. I think uh, there was a decoration of this overwater plaza thing mod that had some... It was this one, right? Oh yeah, look at this. Some nice industry kind of decorations. So let's put this here. Oh, yeah, the problem is that there is not much empty space so not much industry decorations but probably I can search for some additional mods to use them here I think trees do not make so much sense inside of a of a uh, heavy industry area they will not like the air pollution so yeah this is the beginning oh let's put some decorations here as well this is basically the beginning of the new industry zone. Uh, 
So I think in the next episode we should try to uh, think about or to add more houses because we, we need the jobs, some more jobs here in this city. Maybe some towers here, this will help. But I think uh, we should uh, soon try to care about this area here. This will be a residential area, the largest one. So I think we will need this soon for all the industry jobs. All right, so, well, for this episode, thank you very much for watching. Oh yeah, they need the workers. And ooh, it's a dirty place. <laughs> and goodbye.